This is Twit. There we go. La 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 la. Da 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 da. All right, I'm <laughs> dancing. So much dancing. So for the remaining weeks of 2018, yes. every screensavers, we're going to ask our co-host, in this case, the lovely Florence okay. Ion, to pick some holiday gift items. Mm -hmm. So this is what you may find under your tree yes. if you're a friend of Flo's. Uh, first, let's start with phones, though, for those of you Android users out there. this I get this question a lot. Right. What kind of phone should you get for the Android user in your life? Yes. Well, we've got three main picks for this holiday season. We've got the Google Pixel 3 or the Pixel 3 XL. We've got the Samsung Note 9, and we've got the OnePlus 6T, which I actually have over here. This is funny, you should mention this, because I just recommended this. Because a listener said she'd been using the uh, Axia, Axon, which I liked a lot from Huawei, mm -hmm. and it recently broke, and she wanted a new Android device, but she didn't want to spend a lot of money. Oop. And this is a very nice phone. They're basically selling a flagship phone for what, about 500 bucks? Yep, bucks. 550 bucks for a flagship phone. It comes with minimally uh, six, minimally, with minimum six gigabytes of RAM. So if you've got a power wow. user in your life who loves being, who just is an Android fan or who just loves playing video games, do you really this need six great. gigs? Six gigs of RAM, up to eight gigs of RAM if you want that extra two, and up to 256 gigs of space, That's which crazy. makes it great for media hogs if you just love to have all the media with you. And then this is the phone you would get. Uh, and also, because it's got that big 6.4 inch, nearly bezel to bezel screen with a little teardrop notch, so it's not like a huge notch. <laughs> and it's so the smallest teardrop. notch I've seen since the Essential it's phone. Just, it's just a nice little, little you know, just notch. a little couture mall right here. Uh, with a little camera in there. It's got 16 and 20 megapixel camera on the back, so it's, you get that dual camera flavor. Nice. Really nice feeling back. Uh, it's just, this is a really solid phone. And this year, you can buy the OnePlus 6T through carriers like T-Mobile oh, nice. and have that set up. Or you can connect it to Verizon if you've got some uh, some Verizon folks in your life. And there is not a Black Friday price cut, but they are at giving a free charger bundles, right? Yes. At OnePlus .com. And as it stands, OnePlus, I mean, as far as the other flagship devices, this is a lot lower than what you'd spend on a Pixel 3 or a Samsung. And I think a lot of reviewers are saying, just as good, I like the uh, Oxygen OS that they use. Mm -hmm. It's a very clean Android. Yep. Based on top of Android Pi. And so it is Pi. It's mm -hmm. 8 mm -hmm. or 9. 9. 9. And you're going to get, I presume, all the security updates on a timely basis. Yep, depending on OnePlus. But they've got their own development team. They've they're got pretty their quick. Own, you know, they're very good about that uh, because they really cater to the Android user base. So at that, that price, sense. I mean, you could buy, you can get... Pixels now, right now, I think if you go to Verizon, mm -hmm. there's a complicated deal. You have to sign up for Verizon, and you get an eligible trade-in, and you get four hundred dollars off. So that's a that's a pretty good deal. Um, but that's through the twenty fifth of Verizon on a Pixel three. True. Still, I, without having to go through all that rigmarole, and I, I read on Reddit, there's a complicated way you can you have to. It, you know, sign up for Verizon, you have to activate the phone, but then you can call Verizon and say, I don't want to activate the phone, put your other SIM in and still use it with another carrier. I like that. That's pretty. You'd be a good phone Try and do my best. You're a good phone Home shop, home shopping network, <laughs> QVC. My best Lisa Rinna. Uh, so the Pixel 3, if you are into the Google way of living, the Pixel 3 also makes, I mean, it, there are some... There are some deals right now happening at the Google Store. Uh, we've got the Pixel 3, the 5.5 inch smaller deals about, you can save 150 bucks on that. Or oh, see, that's good. Which is pretty good. I like it's it more than Pixel I 3. saved yeah. when I bought you it. you use a Pixel 3? I have a Pixel 3, yes. What do you think? I love it. Me too. I love it. It's the, be it's the best. And you get that computational photography, which is absolutely legitimate. Night I, sight I promise is mind-boggling. Night sight is absolutely mind-boggling. The portrait mode is so good if you yeah. know how to do, you know, if you get like a white background or a nice solid color background behind you and you get some, you know, hang out with some folks, do a little portrait mode, you can easily make your holiday photo and send that off to the printers to now, make cards. This is no teeny weeny notch though on this thing. This is the biggest notch the I've Pixel ever seen. The Pixel 3 XL, yes, has a very big notch. So the XL, I guess, is for the notch, <laughs> but also for the 6.3 inch screen size. I have an XL. I, I really like it. And the notch, bigger. I don't even notice the notch. Now, no. You know, it goes away. But you have a regular Pixel 3. I have a regular Pixel notchless. 3. It's notchless. It has beautiful rounded corners. I have it in the not paint, not quite 
not. You have the not pink? <laughs> the not pink. Oh, do you have it with you? I want to see the not pink. I do, but it's so, uh, it's... It's buried somewhere in my purse. That's okay. Because I dropped it. I've seen it. your purse. I don't want to. Uh, well, nobody's... yeah, it's it's crazy in there. But I dropped it, so that's why I don't want to bring it on screen. It's, it's no longer camera ready. Really? Uh, yeah, I dropped it. Got it. it. It's bad. Oh. I'm, it's definitely not being resold oh. uh, next year. So I'm keeping that for a while. Uh, but you know, it's a good deal at. The Google Store till the 25th if you okay. want to, you know. That's my favorite, although I have to say I'm, I'm eyeing that 6T. That looks pretty nice. I mean, yeah. it's beautiful, yeah, yeah. as they say. I think the prettiest phone out there is the Huawei, uh, the yeah. Mate 20. I think that is a gorgeous phone. It also great has camera. Great camera. But then should we get Huawei? I guess not. So I, I hesitate to point this out, but the OnePlus is also a Chinese company. Uh, Taiwanese? Are they Taiwanese, not Chinese? Okay. Uh, okay, no, I think they are Chinese. Oppo. Sorry. They're Oppo, right? That's Chinese. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So this is why I don't understand. You know, well, are some phones okay? No phone? Should we not buy Chinese stuff anymore? If you took all the Chinese stuff out of this studio, we'd be shouting to you from a far away place. So I don't know. Hello. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Whoa. The Pixel um, 3 is made yeah. in China? It is. It is. All right, what else you got? You get, oh, hey, a Note 9. That's Note not made 9. in China, that's made in South, South Korea. Yes. You got some deals on that? So we do got some deals on, we, we do. do got we some do deals. got some deals on that, folks. Uh, I'm still it's working really, on my QVC really personality. Has the QVC channel. Uh, <laughs> Galaxy Note 9 now starts at $800, but there's a $200 off on an Amazon deal going so that's on. That's a great deal. Which is pretty great. You need that's to think about the S Pen. 40 bucks more than the 160. Yep, I mean, yep. I almost feel like that's a better deal. It, Get the pen, the bigger screen. Yeah, it depends how you feel about Samsung. So you are getting the Samsung interface on this. Yes, it is built on top of Android. I don't and like the Samsung Touch Wizard. You might like the new interface that's coming out, the One UI, which should be out, I think, what, early next year. But the actual hardware is beautiful. I mean, this hardware is great hardware when you hold it in your hand. You have that S Pen, which... You know, it works It works like a stylus, but also you can use it as a camera remote if you like, so that you could take, you know, selfies. I think selfies. that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, which is fun. It's a fun yeah. way to use that. And if you're very business-minded, you know, my mother uses a Note 8. I know that's last year's, but she uses a Note 8 to run her business, and she says it helps her so much just to have that big screen, screen. to have that S Pen. Yeah. The nice thing about the Note 9, it has a giant 4,000 milliamp battery, so that's going to keep you around as much as you need. Uh, you can do wireless charging. It's got, uh, you could buy an additional DeX adapter to get yourself a desktop experience. And if you watch all about Android, you might know that there are some Linux capabilities coming to that. I saw so that. Samsung's really putting some power into its phones. It's The Note 9 also has some slightly improved camera features compared to the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus. But this is the most. This is the most latest from Samsung. So if you're yeah. looking to buy the most latest gift, the most for latest. Member, and I do the most love latest. these. <laughs> this is glass, though. You should you should note. It is glass. So that means the back. I'm sure I'm showing you the back. So it is. And I do like this yellow S Pen. They come in different colors depending on the color that you buy. Yeah. So the yellow one comes with the blue variant. Right. It's also worth noting that this is three hundred dollars off at Best Buy, Verizon, AT and T and Sprint, the latter three require an activation, though if you're planning on upgrading the family, you know, maybe this is a good time to go think, you know, what would my family like? You don't have to get all the same phones. You know why this is my, I think, my favorite Android phone? Why? It's got a headphone jack. Oh, that's right. It's got a headphone jack. The current charging, port. But a headphone jack. Right. The um, legacy port. I love that port. Good time to mention the OnePlus 6T does not have a headphone jack. The Nothing Pixel 3 does. does not have a headphone jack. What's wrong with people? They do come with adapters for your headphones. That's not the same. It's not the same, but uh, the Pixel 3 does come with Pixel Buds. earphones. Headphones. Type-C. Actually, headphones. very decent Type-C headphones. They, they're hard to stay in your ear. But this works with any that. headphones. It you does. Know, it's called a headphone jack. You ever heard of it? These actually come, the Samsung phones come with some great, I think they still come with AKG. Yeah, some very nice. Some great head, phone, very nice. uh, headphones and that I use And they have little magnets everything. that attach together. That's stuff nice. Like that. I, I have to say, if I could, you know what, if I could put oxygen or just a pure Android on this phone, this would be the phone of choice by far. And a number of people have named the S9 the best Android phone of the year. 
It is definitely amazing hardware. I just, I agree with you. I'm not crazy about Andrew, uh, Samsung's UI. Yeah, see, I'm just really into the Google Assistant, which I think is yeah. a great way to transition over. I don't to like Bixby. Oh, here's our Google Assistant. Our Google Assistants that yes. we have right here. This uh, is, I love this HomePod. Okay, so I love right it. here, this is, let's start with it's the dinky. Google Home Hub, which is small. Uh, I like to place this by my makeup station so that I can uh, catch up on my shows while I'm doing my contouring. Uh, if you want to get this on sale this weekend, it is down to actually $100 at many places, although it starts originally at $150. But it's a little deceptive when you do that shot. Let me just... Show that, show that home hub, and I'm going to put my yeah, my it's, Samsung S9. I mean, it's the same size screen as a phone. It's seven inches. It's seven a tiny inches. screen. Seven inches. So and this up here, by the way, don't get fooled. Not a camera. This is an ambient sensor. That's so what a good this thing. is going to do is Can't you're going to swipe you. up from down here, yeah. and you're going to go. I'm doing this backwards. Let's see how well I can do this backwards. And you're going to you see this little A. That means it's an ambient mode, so that when the room goes dark, it won't keep you up at night. A nice thing too about the Google Home You're the Home Ginger Hub. Rogers of tech. You did that very well backwards. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. This is a lot of Here's work. A whole new. Woo. Uh, so yeah, this is fifty dollars off. A hundred bucks at Target, Walmart, Best Buy, Kohl's, Lowe's. You know, check out, see what Costco has going on. You know how I use that just as a digital photo frame. But I love it. It's a great digital photo frame because now Google Photos has live photos, right. uh, live photo albums. Also worth noting that now when you slide down, it'll show you all of your different controls. So we set this up today on uh, on Anthony's account. So we don't Thank have you, all Anthony. of the smart home uh, accoutrement. But when I have this at home, I usually get little, uh, yeah. little buttons for the lights and the things I have set up. You have the broadcast feature. If you need to get the kids up in the morning, you just have this and go, everybody, time to get up. And that works with the Google Home Minis as well, so you don't need to get all of these. This works great for somebody who's in the Google ecosystem, mm -hmm. uses Google Photos, mm -hmm. uses Google Home stuff, doesn't mind the small screen, yep. likes the idea there's no camera. It's 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 a but Easily it's mutable. price is right at a hundred bucks. Off. The mic's back on. Hundred bucks. Oh, your mic's back on. Hundred bucks, and actually, you can get uh, if you like, you can get these with some deals at the Google Store, including uh, light bulbs and things of the sort nice. for a little bit more. Nice. So next up we bigger, have bigger. much bigger. This is the Lenovo Smart Display. This is the 10 inch variant. I call this my kitchen television. This one <laughs> is the it big is. kahuna, but it's great because it's got 10, 10 watt speakers in here. Oop, other way, 10 watt speakers in here. And now you Actually, can, this is you went the right account. way because the back is beautiful on this thing. It's not just the front. Oop. Look at the back. It's got this bamboo, curvy, oh, warby, swoopy Oh, and I do doopy. apologize. So because this has been in my kitchen, we've got some <laughs> grease stains that That's I right. did not left, polish out. Little leftover but turkey. But I'm leaving it here to show you how this wears in your house. You see, this looks is nice. real world experience. That looks good. And the thing is, it's nice to have this bamboo back because I think that it's a lot easier to clean than the cloth on the other uh, Google Home. you're right. Because this has cloth on the that back. That is not a good kitchen Regardless design. of color that you get. Yeah. And so this one's so much easier to clean with a little method, put a little method on a on a rag and then just kind of clean it off. Works yeah. the same for the uh, how's, front. How's the speaker? Does it sound pretty the good? The speaker is so good. So this the Google is Home such a great speaker. Not great. It's so the it's little okay. Google Home sounds like a little tinny. This one is much bassier. Yeah. However, this also has a, I don't know if we can see this, but we've got a camera over here. Now, if the camera makes you uncomfortable or you're just not feeling it, oops. Boop. There we go. Oh. You just, there you go. Hardware, hardware uh, physical, mute. Physical Physical switch. mute, so okay, nobody can good. peek in on you if you don't want it. That's good. I do love to use this, though, with my mother-in-law. We like to duo call her. And so when we're in yeah. the kitchen preparing dinner, we'll catch up with her. You know, she's in the Midwest, two hours ahead of us. So it's a nice time for us to call, all catch I up while we're with cooking. I did that with my mom. Yeah. While I was cooking Thanksgiving dinner, I FaceTimed her on my iPad, but it's the same mm -hmm. thing, a big screen. Exactly. And I let her, we talked for three hours. She watched as I made the pasta. It's, it's really it's nice. Really fun. It's a really nice way yeah. to stay in touch with family. Yeah. That's, and we'll get more to that, I'm sure, when we talk about it's, the portal. It's the next best thing to visiting. Yes. Now, if I wanted better speakers, JBL also has mm -hmm. one of these mm -hmm. Google Home devices. This is their version. Now, this is uh, this is the JBL Link View. So we've got an eight-inch screen on this one, and it starts at two fifty normally, but you can save fifty bucks on it right now at JBL.com, Best Buy, and Newegg. Also and a physical shutter. Also a physical shutter. Turn the camera. You know, I'm glad they're all doing that. That's really great. Right. 
You know, the thing about this, too, is if you love that loud sound of what you're looking for from a Google Assistant is a nice, loud, you know, maybe a little media controller, this is a good idea. Yes, it costs a little bit more than the other two. The Lenovo Smart Display is the one that's going to be on sale at the 8-inch level. Uh, the 10-inch is only on sale $70 off from Best Buy. Uh, a couple places, and $57 off at select bundles on Lenovo. But the 8-inch one is the one you can get for 100 bucks, so it's much smaller. However, the JB Link View gives you those that louder sound. You still get that great screen. Uh, it does fit into a slightly different aesthetic, and, you know... It's a little black, a little death I mean, starry. honestly, yeah. if, if, you know, you've got the bachelor pad or maybe oh, you're yeah. really into, like, That's the futuristic sport. matte black, yeah. this is what you would get if yeah. you've got more of, like, a brighter home. Yeah. Of course, you want to choose something that fits in nicely, and it's yeah. nice to have this kind of, you know, spectrum. All three choices. of those are Google Assistant. If you're an Amazon mm -hmm. fan, of course, Amazon, this is yep. the older Echo Show. They have a newer design Echo Show that looks a lot better. Yep. But team. Amazon is really deep discounting all the Echo devices at Amazon.com. I... Notice the thing in common with all of these, they have screens, and I really think a screen enhances a voice assistant in a lot of ways. It does, it does. It's also, you gotta think about these things too. They're, it's like shopping for a TV. So when you buy this, it, all honestly, this is what I tell people when they ask me, what the heck should I get? I say, think of it as buying a TV. When you buy a TV, you're getting kind of an OS on there a little bit, and you wanna know what is it compatible with, with all these cord cutting services. Think the same way about these. What's Amazon offering me that I subscribe to? What is Google offering me that I subscribe to? One bummer about the Google th uh, way of living is that Netflix isn't currently available for casting to these particular devices. Huh. So if you're really into the new Sabrina, you're not going to be able to binge watch it on any of on these. On the other hand, YouTube is better on Google devices. And YouTube TV, which is live TV, yeah. including all those sports channels. Yeah. So it there's is, just something to be said for that. It's something to think about. Yeah. Also, music, you know, podcasts. You've got routines on all of these. Smart home control. It's just, it's a really, it's you know, what? it's an affordable way to smarten up your house. All right, there it is, Florence Oof. Ion's gift guide. Put a talking <laughs> device in your kitchen too. Thank you, Florence. Thank you for letting me yap on about these things. They're fun.